Welcome back. In this video, we're going to put together all that we've learned so far about HTML5 and convert this Photoshop file into a working HTML5 web page. Now, I've gone ahead and spliced up all the assets that we're going to need and stored them in an image folder. There's a number of text editors out there that you can use to write your markup, but for these videos, I'm going to use Coda by Panic. Now I went ahead and set up a basic page structure for an HTML5 document and I'll go over what we've got so far. Up above you can see that we've declared our doc type. And now we deal with all the possible issues that can arise from viewing a website in Internet Explorer. Here we've set up our class elements for Internet Explorer detection so that when testing our website in different versions of IE, we can write specific classes so that our layout looks the same in IE as it does in other browsers. In our HTML element, we're going to add the class Node.js, which means no JavaScript, which allows us to know JavaScript is enabled, and we're also going to declare our default language as English. We use the meta element care set equals UTF-8 to declare our HTML5 encoding. This next markup tells IE to display content in the highest mode available. And then here we have our typical title and meta tags. We have a link to our style sheet. And then we have a link to our Google web fonts. We're going to be using Open Sans as our primary font for this page. And now just two more compatibility files to ensure that our CSS will recognize our HTML5 elements and work in browsers that aren't yet hip to HTML5. Here we need to include the HTML5 shim. And at the end of our head element we include Modernizer, which is the feature detection library for HTML5 and CSS3. Modernizer is an open source JavaScript library that just makes it easy for web designers to support different levels of experience based on the visitor's web browser. The HTML5 shim and modernizer are the only two JavaScript files that we're going to call in the head element. All other JavaScript libraries or script functions will be added at the bottom of the page so that the page will load faster. If you've ever had a client ask you why their page loads so slow, you might want to check if they're loading a bunch of JavaScript in the head element of their website. Moving these libraries and functions to the bottom of your markup right above the body element will increase the load time. So let's get going and start writing some markup. 